Hey everybody, this is Shane with another Transformer. Yes, this is Bumblebee. This one is more of the classic slime Bumblebee. Now, needless to say, Bumblebee has become one of the most popular Autobots since the live-action movies came out. Now, when the Classic Slime came out in 06, I was actually both surprised and happy to see Bumblebee was among the uh, G1-type characters released. And surprisingly, he was like the only character I didn't get when the Classic Slime came out. I got his uh, repaint, his brother, uh, Cliff Jumper, but I didn't get Bumblebee. They since went and re-released re this one for a Walmart exclusive 3-pack. Matter of fact, this one's out of the Walmart exclusive 3-pack. And they released it one more time for the 2010 Reveal the Shield line. And the only real difference between that one and this one is the paint job on that one. Yes, it's still got the black racing stripes. But the paint but the main color of it to me was kind of like a orangish yellow kind of deal which I found odd and kind of displeasing but at least the back at least the back portion of it wasn't black but this is a very very good G1 style transformer now, as far as his transformation goes, if I remember, he's really not too difficult. Let's see, I believe you can go ahead and pop out his arms, I think it is. There we go. Just takes a little, in, takes a little encouragement. But you can go ahead and pop out the doors. Bring them back, rotate the tires. Then after that, go ahead and pop down the front of the hood, split the hood itself, fold it down. This automatically forms his feet. The seats right here, you can go ahead and fold them down for his kneecaps. You can fold down the roof. It then brings up his head. Just strain up the arms. There we go. But this is cla for his classic slime bumblebee right here. If you want to, you can go ahead and just rotate the doors. Kind of make his arms look a little more even. But if you're wondering what the deal with the little towable jet ski thingamajig here. It does transform. It does do something with the character. As a matter of fact, before I fool with this, let me give a little 360 degree view of the character. Like I say, he's actually really nice. I actually really like this particular mold that they used. Now, as far as this piece is concerned, this just splits open. You rotate the jet ski. And the way this is shaped right here, you can mount this on his back. And it's basically supposed to give him almost like a little pseudo jetpack mode. Let's see. No, I had it right. I had it right. My only complaint really with this little set, with this little piece right here, is it really doesn't want to stay on. I don't know if it's the piece I got or if it's for this particular mold, 
but I got a buddy of mine who's actually got the same set, and the jet ski on his doesn't want to stay up. Let's see. Maybe it was more like that. Um, honestly, at, at this point in time, I really don't remember how this is supposed to go, but it basically is supposed to give him like a little, little jetpack thing. But, I mean, honestly, he just looks better without it, as far as I'm concerned. But, I mean, if you can find this character, whether it be the original classics, part of the Walmart exclusive three pack, or the reveal of the shield bumblebee, if you can find him reasonably priced, I get him. But, I mean, that's just my little take on. Classic slime bumblebee, you have a good day.